Well, 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 well. I mean, I'm not saying I told you so, but I told you so. I remember back in December when I was like, some like it hot, is some like it flop, when I said this musical is not gonna last very long. And now it's closing. I mean, listen, I know you guys think that I'm just making stuff up and I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe after this current closing, you might start to believe that I'm telling the truth. Welcome back, guys. I just had to get that gloat out of the way. Um, BYU Gross is some big things, some like it hot announced it's closing, and I predict we are going to get a plethora of clothings, 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 closings in the next few weeks. And Juliet went from 85% to 86% and 923k to 938k, which is a pretty decent week. Again, and Juliet is one of those shows that has like this irregular, you know, big drops. Like it normally doesn't happen with these big musicals. Like Back to the Future is still making a million. It's not making 1,217, but it's making just, just, just making a, just making a million. You know, and that's what you'd expect for something like and Juliet, which you know, like, let's be honest, was making a million dollars, was the most successful new musical of the last season. So it's not going anywhere, it's not in any trouble, it's just interesting. And I wonder what happens. I still don't actually know. A Beautiful Noise, I think, is saved from its January closing. It went from 80, 80. It went from 68% to 67%, and 913k this week, and last week's 891k, so it is doing much better business-wise. And as long as it maintains eights and nines, it'll be fine. Back to the Future made a million dollars last week and this week, going from 86% to 81%. Um, so it's still doing great blockbuster numbers. Gutenberg went from 88% to 84% for eight performances and 687k last week to this week's 759k this week. You know, so I think Gutenberg is doing fine, absolutely solid. It, it doesn't cost a lot to put on every week. It's it's doing solid business, you know? I mean, there, there are shows like Akimbo that would kill for those numbers. But I will say, if I'm, if I'm Andrew Reynolds, especially if I'm Josh Gad, I'm thinking, hmm, my ego's hurting, man. My ego's hurting. I know they're not big stars, but I would have expected an eight or a nine, personally. Um, but that's just me. Um, Hades Town, now we're getting into the, this is gonna close, it went from 84% last week to 83% this week, and 552k to 540k. Um, this is terrible. I think Hades Town is on its deathbed. The steam has just simply gone out of Hades Town, and it is on its way out. Hades Town, more like Hospice Town, you get what I'm saying? It's closing soon. It's gonna close soon. You know, 500k is not good. And even before then, it's been doing poor numbers, sixes and sevens. I said this time last year, Hades Town could close in 2023. I was obviously wrong, but I think that now is the time when it's like it's it's now it's there. You know, and the, over the past year, we've seen the trend of Hades Town slowly decreasing in business. And it sadly is gonna close soon. I don't know what else to say. The numbers speak for themselves. No musical that's making under 700k is doing good. Fact. Even 700,000 might not even be enough in this day and era. Um, I don't want Hayes Town to close. I love all these musicals. I, I wish we could have new musicals every season and all the musicals could stay. But that's not the reality of the big business. Pure and simple. Um, Hamilton went from 1,744,838 to 1,776,000 and 99% capacity. Um, Harry Potter, and I don't cover Potter a lot, but it went from 936k to 962k and 80% to 79%, which is very, very underwhelming for Potter. If it goes past into the 8s or 7s, I'm gonna be concerned. But even if I'm a producer, I'm like, Harry Potter, why aren't we making a million every week? I mean, Aladdin has been um, going since 2014, almost 10 years, um, and it still makes a million every week. I think it has only not made a million maybe when we were in the whole comeback from the pandemic stage of, of musicals. So it is like, wow, you know, like, wow, Harry Potter, it's taken a beating as a brand. But I also think that people don't like the story, and I think that, you know, they're, they're in it for the spectacle. Um, and you can have amazing spectacle, but if the story isn't that good, it's gonna be a tough sell. Here Lies Love is gonna close. It went from 73% to 64%, and 
and 577k to 521k. This musical has not seen 8 or 9 since like early August, end of July. It's done 6s and 5s. It, it needs to, I think I saw on the, the Broadway Journal, which is like a website, that it, I think it needs to make like, what, 800,000 a week or 900,000? Um, and it's, it's not even doing half of that anymore. It's doing about half of that now. Um, but yeah, Here Lies Love, uh, such a uh, terrible producing decision. So Golden the Square Theater, uh, they rebooted, rebooted, they can completely tore out the seats. It's an expensive musical to, to put on, and they've lost money since they've opened, and they cannot afford this, and this is with the Filipino star. They can't get Le Leah Salong, because she's doing song time until, you know, uh, next year. It's gonna close, guys. It's gonna close. It's gonna close. It, it, it will. I mean, it... It, yeah, man, it's just, it is what it is, and I, I hate it, because I love Hugh Lies Love. I think it's an amazing musical. It was always a tough sell, and they took a big risk, and it didn't pay off. Pure and simple. Kimberly Akimbo, it's also going to close. You know, they've been losing money since they've opened, um, and it went from 76%. Uh, 75 percent to 80 percent and 516 K to 574 K which is again not good obviously they made fives and fours post or pre Tonys and they were expecting sevens eights a million but that's not happening um, and I think if we were in a before um, the pandemic happened I think akimbo would have done better it wouldn't have made a million but like fun home it might have done sevens eights nines had a year long run as opposed to closing after less than a year. Although Akimbo, I think, will have been open for a year if it closes in January, but, um... So I guess that is a year, technically. So I guess it did run longer than a strange loop. Merrily, we roll along. Went from 100% to 100% for seven performances. And 1,304,508 last week to 1,471,644 this week. Um, this is a behemoth of a musical. And to think this once was the biggest flop in Broadway, it's now the most successful musical. It's outperforming, you know, big musicals like Harry Potter. You know, who would have thought that Merrily We Roll Along would be making more money than Potter? Moulin Rouge went from 1 million last week to 1,121,919 and 96% to 94%, and that has done very consistent um, in the fall, not going anywhere. Um, Shocked it went from 84% to 77%. And 641k to 658k. Again, I think if it continues to do sixes and under sevens, I think it will close in January as well. That's what I'm saying. A lot of stuff is going to close, guys. Um, and it costs 60 million to produce. And I can only imagine that the operating costs are not 900k, which is what something like Hots was. So it's probably what sevens, eights. So they are doing a little bit closer. But again, in this economy, you have to be. It's a lot more cut, cut cutthroat and ruthless, and I personally think that Shucked um, is, I don't see it rebounding to the 8s and the 9s like it was in the spring. Still, it had a good, consistent run. These producers are stubborn, though, and it could have a bit of a comeback, so I don't, I think they, they will wait out on that for a little bit um, to see how this month goes. But September, they did alright, but like, it wasn't like something where, if I'm an investor, I'm like, yeah, we should keep this going. Like, they're gonna probably lose a lot of money post-Christmas. Six is also not doing so hot, going from 83% to 82%, 84%, and 780k to 776k, which is not terrible, but again, it is getting into that bit of danger territory. You know, sevens are kind of really like, oh, this isn't great. So I'm looking hot, and that is closing, went from 61% to 64%, and, and 681k to 758k. And again, I kind of saw this coming, we all know that it, its operating costs were huge, it was 900k a week. I think only 14 weeks that it was open, it actually surpassed that who made that. So it's not a surprise to me, at least. Um, and again, I tell you, this kind of musical doesn't work on Broadway. Which is why Betty Boop is not going to also work either. Um, and by that, I mean that, you know, these kind of old-fashioned musicals. And there's nothing bad about them. It's just audiences don't want them. And they made that message clear. With Tootsie, Doubtfire, Something Like It Hot, um... I'm, some, I'm assuming that there's something else. Uh, something Rotten. Love that show, but the audiences weren't there. And then to finish it all up, Sweeney Todd went from um, 600, 94% and to 97%, and 1,530,902 to this week's 1,504,071 this week, which is pretty solid for Sweeney. So overall, um, pretty grim 
we poured some groceries, but as I said, once we got into the summer, the fall months, we would know what would make it and what would cut it, and I predict Kimberly Akimbo, some like it hot, Kimberly, some like it hot, Kimberly Akimbo, um, Here Lies Love and Hades Talent all close in January, and I know that by the end of this month, at least two of them will have announced closings, and I think that, um, Shucked will follow suit. Um, and it is sad to say, but that's the business. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, sub, and comment, and I will see you next time. Peace.